Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to The Honeystead. In one of my last freeze drying videos, I did talk about wanting to kind of show you my pantry room that I have. And I know I've kind of showed little clips in the past, but I actually took some time today. Um, it was snowing, it was gross, it was cold. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to stay inside and get some of the things that I needed to get done. And one of them was to kind of start my inventory list between my seeds that I'm gonna start growing, the pantry room and our inventory on what we kind of have, what we used, what we're gonna need to grow. It was actually kind of perfect because my mom and I both kind of divided. <laughs> she went up to the apothecary to do some work and I stayed down here and got this all organized. So let me show you what we have. I may or may not have an addiction to food preservation. I think I'm learning that about myself. But that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Let's hope. I'll be very honest, this room definitely was kind of the catch-all, so that's probably why I didn't show it to you sooner, but I really spent pretty much the majority of the day in here getting things organized and then also looking through our seeds and getting an idea on what we're gonna plant. And I do wanna talk about a few items that I have found that have been helpful, especially when it comes to growing and harvesting and preserving your harvest. And it doesn't necessarily have to be you're growing everything and you're preserving everything. I'm not gonna lie. I keep an eye out on what's on sale. And if there's a really good sale on an item or produce, I'll grab it and I'll freeze dry it or I'll can it or I'll put it up. So I do So I do wanna make that really clear because it's a lot of work to grow a garden and put your food up and store it. And some of the things that I grew this year did not do very well. But a lot of this that I have, we did grow. And it feels really good being able to open up a jar and enjoy it with the family. But let me show you a few items that I found to be extremely helpful especially when it comes to putting up a lot of food at one time if you're into dehydrating i really have enjoyed this dehydrator from elec holmes it is pretty big and it's like a mini oven i can do quite a bit in one run um, between herbs or meat or vegetables or fruit anything i i really enjoyed this dehydrator we did a lot of i'll show you actually Last year, one of our favorite treats was little sun-dried tomatoes. And I actually, actually opened up the jar and had a couple while I was kind of cleaning today. When it comes to making spaghetti sauce, I think this has been my favorite thing that I have had, which is a 22 quart roasting oven. Um, I love this thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have, I can make 22 quarts of spaghetti sauce in one sitting. And next year, I might have to get another one. Because when it comes to time and prioritizing what you're doing on the farm, at least for me, if I do an abundance in one day, that's one day that I can knock out and have for the rest of the year. I feel like we did around 40, 48 quarts of spaghetti sauce. And I'm down to my last 12. That makes me a little nervous. But I was sitting here kind of going through my inventory and seeing, okay, what do I need to do more of next year? And I feel like next year, I wanna focus on like 80 quarts of spaghetti sauce because we, between my family, my sister, we go through a lot of spaghetti sauce. But this is what I did do as well. I have a good bit of pint-sized tomatoes that we did. Um, these are crushed tomatoes and we did, we grew all of them here. If it comes down to it, I can actually take this and turn this into 
spaghetti sauce as well. This is gonna allow me to get an idea and engage for my family and find out how much I actually need to continue to grow or what do I need to plan for. You guys have seen that I have been freeze drying quite a bit. So right now, this is everything that I have freeze dried at the moment. We've already eaten a good bit of it, <laughs> at least the fruit. I've enjoyed really snacking on the fruit. But I'm gonna come up with an organizational plan for this. And then also, instead of just using my Mylar bags, I do plan on um, storing a lot of my freeze dried immediate use items like my chopped up onions or my celery or my peas or any veggie um, in jars. And then of course down there, I've got some honey, which I have been holding on to the last little bit. The other thing that we did this year, which I am kind of excited about, um, we actually have water glassed some of our eggs. This is not a new concept for storing eggs, but let's see if I can show you guys. I've got some of our eggs down there. We've gone through quite a bit of them already. But our chickens just started really picking back up the other day. I had to have a whole conversation with them being freeloading slackers and what it meant for them to pull their weight. And if they didn't pull their weight, what was gonna happen to them? And I told them that if they didn't start laying, I was gonna bring out the pot. And um, well, two days in a row now we've gotten uh, seven eggs. So I think they got, the, they got the message. But my plan is to take all those eggs and now that I have that freeze dryer, I do plan on freeze drying a bunch of our eggs and actually storing that and put that up as well. Since we're talking about plans and goals for the pantry, I wanted to kind of show you guys really quick what I plan on doing. My kids used to show in the 4-H every year and instead of making big posters for their animals um, and having them thrown away or waste, I actually bought some pretty junky dry erase boards and then I painted it with that chalk paint. And so every year, instead of making a new poster, we would just use our chalkboard um, for the kids to be able to put their animal's name, the weight, the breed, the birth date, all of that information. But my kids are not showing in the 4-H anymore. So I still have these boards and I was going through them and I was like, you know, instead of throwing them away, I think it would be a really good idea for me to hang them in my pantry room. Um, and that'll give me an idea of my inventory, what I have, I can see it, you know, like it's here and it's a visual. And then I have another one, I have three of them in total. But I'll also plan on using one um, as my, my priority. Like what do I need to grow? What do I need to plant? Um, and then kind of have that running date. Okay, I know I'm gonna plant tomatoes. So around this time I'll be canning or, you know, maybe not, I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is when it comes to somebody who is starting out a homestead and trying to figure out how to juggle all of the things, I think it's very important to have a visual board. I'll show you guys one of the boards that we have upstairs. But basically, by me having a visual, and I see if my inventory might be low in, in this product, produce, whatever I have, um, it's gonna give me a visual reminder to, okay, I need to do this. Or if I need to go ahead and order certain rings, um, I know I was running out of the oxygen absorbers for the freeze dryer and some Mylar bags, so I went ahead and ordered that. But just by having a visual, it's gonna help keep you more in tune of what's happening. A homestead is many working parts between planting, livestock, raising kids, all of that. It is a constantly moving machine. When you're starting your homestead, especially if you are starting from scratch like my husband and I did, we had 
nothing here on this property outside of pastures. There was no fencing, there was no electricity, there was no water, nothing. So my husband and I essentially have come up with a plan for us, a, a task list, so to say, of all the things that we have needed to do or wanted to do and basically prioritized them. We also have a little bit of flexibility because like today, it was snowing outside. I didn't wanna go outside and do much work, so this was my day in here. I know that I have many people that reach out about um, starting a homestead and what advice I can give and what I can share because we were beginners years ago. We were brand new to this lifestyle. The biggest thing that I could offer is to get your vision board write it down, take each project that you have, like right now, for my project. I have canning, preserving, freeze drying, okay? That kinda goes into like one category. I have a lot of things that I wanna do. Um, then I have my apothecary. Then I have the garden prep, which I'm going to be starting my seeds here in the next couple of weeks and I just went through all of my seeds and figured out what do I need to order and and also decide what I don't feel like growing this year um, but the apothecary needs my attention obviously my house my family my life this I also film and I document so I have to dedicate time for that and then all the other things on the homestead, fixing fencing. I've got to clean out my barn. Yesterday, my daughter and I were able to clean out the chicken coops and we took care of the goats and their hooves. Everybody is happy. We also have the barn shop that's gonna be built. So basically, if you have a vision board and you're able to kind of write down, write down each project that you have and the tasks from top priority to least priority. Write them down. It feels so good to be able to check it off your list and move on to the next project. We keep our vision board up in my dining room. It is not fancy, it is not pretty, but it's there, but we see it because every day when we sit down, we look at the board and we figure out, okay, what are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? But it's really easy to become overwhelmed, especially when it comes to planting and planting and preserving and taking care of your animals. And if I can offer any bit of advice, it's to write it down and to check it off as soon as you're done and move on to the next project. And if you embrace this lifestyle and consider it um, not like work, and if you love it, then you're gonna enjoy what you're doing. The board that I was talking about downstairs, this is the board <laughs> that basically lives in my dining room and we see it every single day. And this is basically where we decide what our next move is. Now, of course, my son likes to add um, by Carson A. Cummings. Cummings. So, yeah, that's on there. <laughs> but we have multiple projects happening all at one time. Uh, this is, it's not Mountain Dew, it's actually called Mountain House. My parents' Mountain House, we've been renovating and flipping it. My dad has been doing a lot of the work up there, uh, but there's some things that we've been able to kind of help with, as well as my husband. Oh, look, by Ella a horse. Oh, there's another by Ella a horse. Oh, look, one more by Ella a horse. Here, you want to wipe them off? Are you saying you want a horse? No, I'm saying I want a dog. You want a dog? Then we have the shop, which is on March 10th. We're going to be delivering, and then around the 14th, they're going to start the build. And then after that, we know that we have to work on the electric, do the plumbing, do the con do the concrete, and then yes. Here. Finally. And then the pasture. And then when it comes to the pasture, we are still working on some fencing. Um, we're kind of waiting for it to kind of fall down a little bit. But that's a major project that we have on the farm. So we have a lot of working things going on, but we just pick and choose the day that we want to do it. And then we started drawing out the electrical plans for how we're going to run the shop. 
and then started kind of getting an idea um, because we're gonna be doing a lot of the finishing work ourselves. I'm saying if you are the type of person that gets really overwhelmed by all the tasks that you may or may not have on your list, get a board or an old chalkboard and just write down, prioritize, figure out what's most important um, when it comes to that project and check it off. So my mom and I definitely did a divide and conquer day kind of weekend and she spent a good bit of time up at the apothecary while I was yesterday working on the chicken coops and the goats and then today I uh, worked inside the oh my goodness it's like a winter wonderland um, but today while I was working downstairs in the pantry so let's go see the apothecary So how many herbs are we up to? Uh, 119. Yeah. I think, I'll, I'll open up the computer. Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely awesome. I know we need to work on shelves. That's coming. Yeah, that's next. Yeah, I didn't know where to put the rest of it. So I just, uh, basically that's powders. Yeah. And I can't fit any more in unless I so yeah. here, come here and look. So yeah, 119. But this is all alphabetical. That's all good. That's so good name, scientific, mm -hmm. how much, organic kosher or OTCO, what type it is, where it came from, where we purchased from, the expiration date. I was just telling everyone while I took them downstairs into the pantry, my plan for the chalkboards. We, we do plan on having like a, a working dry erase board up here, especially when it comes to formulating um, for specific individuals. Uh, but I was telling everybody the, the plan for the chalkboards downstairs on making sure that I have a running inventory list what we need of what we need what we're going through for like spaghetti sauce we're like down to our our like last 12. oh no so the plan but we also have all the crushed tomatoes oh well, so, we can make sauce exactly so i'm not too too concerned but basically having that running list knowing what your inventory is knowing what you got where you're going all of that so we have a hundred and how many we have a actually we have 120 i gotta add in the peony the peony I think we're gonna, I think this is gonna be, this is definitely getting everything organized. I feel like we were really productive this weekend. Um, I think we got a lot, even the plants got watered. We were. <laughs> yeah. Well, yesterday was like 60 something degrees and today was like Blah. 30, 20 and snowy. And, and snow. It was a perfect day to come up here, be quiet for me. It yeah. was a perfect day to come up here, have my listening to some music mm -hmm. and just doing data entry and yep. organizing and this needed to be done same thing with that that yeah. room i and told really, them i was like i wanted to show you guys this room for so long but it's become the catch-all for a lot of things so today was my organizing for that yeah but you did a great job down there because it really did and what the funny thing was is two people in there would not have been no. productive yeah. it was almost it, it, it was easier to divide and conquer yeah we will definitely keep you guys posted with some of the things that are also on our list and i hope that this video kind of also not only showed you guys kind of what we're doing but then also helped with anyone who might be struggling on managing time, managing projects, especially if you're starting a homestead. And I can't tell you enough, we have been there. I have been there. My husband and I both have figured out what works for us and having a board where you see it. It's that visual. It is that visual. And yeah. it feels so good to check something off that list. Yeah, cross it off that list. It, it feels good and then leave it alone yeah. don't add 10,000 just because you crossed up one thing don't add 10,000 things you'll on add it right away. more you'll add more but yeah. just each season brings something different yeah. and for right now this season this is kind of my okay, you know like yeah. what am I doing what's my goal what's my purpose and food preservation and the apothecary 
our top right yeah. now for us and well, we've knows? only been in here for what about two, about two months yeah so it was gotten, right before christmas yeah, really we've, so we've gotten and, a lot done yeah i hope you guys stick around for some of the next upcoming videos because we definitely have a lot going on so thank you guys for watching and as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old bye bye guys <laughs>